Yes, uh, my name is Charles Stebbin. Uh, just to reiterate what Mr. Meadows was saying, everything, I'm his aide. Uh, I went and uh, he's right. CLS took from 2010 to 2012 and everything just to find us a home. We've been in the home that we located after they said we turned down so many homes and everything for the last eight months. It took them from June all the way up until two weeks ago to put a ramp in. And this is only after I called CLS and support, spoke to a support coordinator and pe the people in charge and everything because I dropped Mr. Meadows twice down a flight of stairs for our uh, porch. After that happened, they had someone come out because I told them if something happens to him or to me and everything, I would sue them for liability issues. Now, they have gone back on a lot of things and everything. When I first came down here, I had some emotional issues. I lost my mother and my sister within hours of each other and everything on the same day, 97. When I became part of CLS, I asked for, I was having some emotional issues, I asked for a psychologist to talk to. Psychologist I talked to, right? Can't do anything for me and everything. They re wanted to refer me to a psych ward and everything and give me medicine. Just when I just needed someone to talk to, someone to would understand me and everything, someone that I could just have help me get through what emotional problems I was having. Not more than, I'd say, a month after that, I tried committing suicide and everything. CLS has failed in what they were doing. I ended up in uh, a psych ward for a few hours and everything. I, luckily, I have good friends and good family, extended family, that helped me talk talked my way through it and everything and uh, understood where I was coming from because they've been there and everything. Uh, but as far as CLS keeping their word and uh, helping out when it's needed, I don't see it. Even if they do help out, it's slow to go and everything, get things done. Like I say, I dropped Mr. Meadows down our porch steps twice. Luckily, he stayed in his chair, and, but I put my back out and my legs for over a week. I wasn't able to move. I almost ended up in a hospital because of it and everything. And when I did call them and let them know what had happened and everything, they finally got off their butt after eight months after we just got into this new home <coughs> and everything, two weeks or two weeks to what is it, uh, about a month now, now that we've had the ramp in and everything. They finally got the ramp in. But like I say, uh, when I spoke to them, when Mr. Mezza spoke to them, we insisted on the company being certified and everything and it being followed by state regulations and everything and knowing uh, how to put the ramp in for people with disabilities that use wheelchairs. I have a question for you, Charlie. Yeah. Are you and Tommy in the same program that Jerome is in? And did they offer that program to you? They tried offering us a place in Inkster. Okay. Westland, Hamtramck, Wyandotte. So when you requested to stay in Detroit, were they approached with the uh, question of why can't you build us a home in Detroit? That never even came up. Okay. And everything. They just looked for homes that were there. You were at one of our meetings, Lisa, and everything with the people that had offered a home to have fixed up and everything for us, they turned it down four times and everything. And all, all the other houses that we had looked at and decided to check out and everything, Mr. Meadows said, said himself he couldn't get in because and check it out because there are stairs, no ramps and everything. Mr. Robleski, the other assistant, and I went in, checked it out, checked the houses out, 
for accessibility and uh, took pictures and audio set, audio and everything to report back to Mr. Meadows and everything and put it on his big screen monitor so he could see what was going on. But that, they never cared one whit and everything. They wanted to do things their way, not the way it should be done and everything for the clients they serve and everything. It's all about big bucks and everything and uh, prestige and power in my opinion and this is just my opinion but the people like I say people at CLS need to go and put themselves in our position and everything and maybe for a year two three see how it feels and everything was limited funds barely anything with housing and everything if you're going to try and move us around and everything and maybe they'd understand where we're coming from and everything. We need to band together and fight and everything for the rights that God gave us and that are under our own constitution for the United States and the state of Michigan and everything. The rights that people have bled and died for. Right. That's right. And everything. Now, there's one other thing. I know for a fact and everything because I heard it on TV. The President of the United States, his father-in-law, Mrs. Obama's father has a disability. Now, if the President of the United States' father-in-law has a disability, maybe we should contact him or his wife and everything and request them to take a look at this issue because if he has a disability, they sure in the hell know what's going on with people with disabilities and they're willing to help out. I'm sure of it. Because it doesn't make a difference one way or another. And everything. People with disabilities need to stick together. And so do their families and friends. All those that have to work together to get what needs to be done. And Jerome, you definitely have my personal support in getting this done. Appreciate it.